And the BAFTA goes to Absolutely Marvellous. For today's Songs of Praise, I'm joined by Neil Baldwin, who inspired the BAFTA award-winning film Marvellous. We're going to be talking about university, faith, football and friends. We're friends, aren't we? Yes, we are. Good. Neil's become um, something of a celebrity. He has created opportunities and possibilities that um, most of us just would never follow through. Also, Claire meets Emma Scrivener and finds out how faith helped her overcome anorexia. It's not a beautiful model dabbing at her mouth with a hanky. It's, it's brutal. And on the 600-year anniversary of the Battle of Agincourt, church detective Richard Taylor takes us inside a hidden chapel at Westminster Abbey. For a hundred years, priests and monks would say mass after mass and prayer after prayer for the soul of Henry V. And of course, there'll be music galore, including a fantastic performance from tenor Jonathan Antoine. But first, a rousing hymn to get us all going. From Hackney Empire, it's an old-time gospel classic. This is my story. Right. It's a year since the BAFTA-winning BBC drama Marvellous catapulted an unexpected hero, Neil Baldwin, into the limelight. An inspirational story about an ordinary man who lives life to the full and wins over the hearts of football legends and church VIPs. And gave them Despite being diagnosed with a learning disability as a child, the 69-year-old from Newcastle under Lyme is a lay preacher, registered clown, former kit man for Stoke City, and honorary graduate of Keele University. Since the film and BAFTA win, he's become something of a celebrity. And for Neil, apart from his friends, there's someone special he credits with his success. I thank the Lord what he's done for me. For an incredible 55 years, Neil has volunteered to meet and greet new students at Keele University. Welcome to Keele. Lovely. Lovely to meet you. Welcome to Keele. Yeah. How are you, Neil? Lovely to see you. Really lovely to see you. How are you? Very well. You've been doing this for quite a while, haven't you? Welcoming oh, yes. people. And of course, you're, you're dead famous now since the film's gone out. Do you notice that people are different to you? Yeah, because last night I was sitting in the union, right? And over 30 people came up and said, can we have a photograph of you? <laughs> Hasn't gone to your head? Oh, no, not yet. <laughs> <laughs> There's still time. I think there is, yeah, but... 
Neil's approach to life seems to break down barriers and has gained him some high-profile friends. Yeah, of course, I'm friends with Neil Baldwin. Lello, it's the man. He has this thing where you get an immediate sort of connection uh, with him. Uh, it's, it's, it's quite remarkable, really. And I think that's because of his overall uh, positivity towards people. T take me through some of these things you've got here yeah. now. That one was me when I was about 11. You got a very cheeky smile in that one. Oh, yeah. Looks like a clown face, but so. <laughs> No, it doesn't. <laughs> uh, that one is when the Archbishop of Canterbury. Yeah. When did you meet him? Last Wednesday. Oh, OK. But he says to me, Neil, your film was great for the Christian faith. Yeah. And I was very proud to hear that, you know. How do you stay so positive? I, I've always wanted to be happy, so uh, I decided to be. <laughs> Brilliant. I'm going to write some of this stuff down. Well, tell me about um, the Bible you've got here, because I see you've got some signatures and stuff in it. Yes. Oh, wow. Libby Lane. The Church of England's first female bishop. Every time I see Libby, she always gives me a kiss. Uh, I'm one of many bishops who Neil counts as his very good friends and who we count as being his friends. Um, he takes very seriously uh, his place in the Church of England and uh, genuinely wants to support us and pray for us. Is this your, your, your greatest thing? Oh, yeah. What's your greatest quote from it, would you say? Is that I the... am the way, the truth and the life. Why do you like that one? Because he is the truth. And he's given us life to live. During the course of your life, has everyone been nice to you or have you had to sort of deal with people picking on you and stuff? Yeah, like that I've before? had some upsets and more, but I've just took it as a man like I am. A lot of people will take it to heart, though. How, how do you not? Because, you know, you, you always can forgive. And I'm glad you can forgive. Hi, Mum. Oh, there's a sight for sore eyes. <laughs> What comes across in the film massively is that you had such a, a close, loving relationship with your mum. Yes, I did, because you only have one mum. Was it your mum that, that made you go to church? Yeah, when I was a baby, I got christened, and uh, I went to Sun school, and uh, went in the church choir, because I've always loved singing, even in the bathroom I sing a lot. <laughs> But um, I'm glad I've had a good faith and a good voice. We'll be hearing more from Neil and his singing voice later, and I'll be hoping to impress him with my football skills. <laughs> <laughs>